Hello, this is Math Models, notes for 5-6, solving using systems of substitution. So, uh, earlier we talked about solving systems using elimination. That's one method. Another method is substitution. Now, elimination is good when you have things set up AX plus BY equals C. Substitution is good as for when one variable is already solved for, like this one. So we already know what X is. X is Y plus 2. So substitution means I'm going to take this y plus 2, and I'm going to plug it into x. So now I have 2, y plus 2, plus y equals 13. Notice all I've done was rewrite this second equation, replacing x with what I know x equals. Now we just solve for y. We start by distributing 2y plus 4 plus y equals 13. 2y plus y makes 3y plus 4 equals 13. We subtract 4 from both sides. We get that 3y equals uh, 9. Divide both sides by 3. We get that y equals Well, I know what y equals, so I need to figure out what x equals. So I'm come back over here. I plug this into my other equation. So x equals 3 plus 2. Just replace the y with 3. So x equals 5. Now my solution is an ordered pair with x first and y second. And that's substitution. All we do is we substitute a variable with something else. Let's go ahead and try this again. <clears throat> this time, we know what y is. We know that y is 2x minus 17. So I'm going to plug that back into y. So 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 17 equals negative 13. Again, we're going to start off with distribution. 3x plus 8x minus 17 times 4 is 68 equals negative 13. 8, 9, 10, 11x minus 68 is negative 13. We add 68 to both sides. We get that 11x equals 68 minus 13 is 55. Divide by 11, then we get that x equals 5. Now that we know what x equals, we plug it back into our other equation. y equals 2 times 5 minus 17. So y equals 10 minus 17. y equals negative 7. Again, our solution is an ordered pair with x first and then y. This is all substitution is. First, we figure out what one variable is. We plug that into the other equation and solve for one variable. Now that one variable is solved for, we plug that back into the first equation we used and we'll solve for the second variable. Let's go ahead and take a look at example number three. But well, before that, let's go ahead and look at these equations and determine which method, whether it would be elimination, substitution, or graphing. And then we want to explain why. Here we're not solving. I just want to know, is it elimination, substitution, or graphing? Let's take a look at number three. Number three, x is solved for, and over here nothing is solved for. Well, because x is solved for something, we want to use substitution. Why? x is already solved for. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 4. 
we look at these, I want you to notice that both of these are solved for y. So here, the best method would be graphing. Or you could also use substitution. Y, Y is solved for in both equations. And now we look at number five. Neither variable is solved for, but they're already listed as X, then Y equals some number. So this method would be elimination, and the reasoning would be that both equations are in the form of AX plus BY equals C. So there we have it. We know three methods of solving equations now. The first method would be substitution. And we want to do that when one variable is already solved for. Our next method would be graphing. We only want to do that if y is already solved for in both equations, or if you can solve for y easily in both equations. Substitution works equally well as graphing in this case. The number five is elimination. We can only do elimination if they're set up ax plus by equals c. If they're set up any other way, it will not work. Now, sometimes you can choose which method you want to use uh, simply by rearranging them. Uh, unless the assignment specifically says to solve it using this method, I don't care which one you use. Use the one that you feel most comfortable with. However, this page will give you a suggestion as far as what is the easiest method, given what you have. So, these was a, this was a short set of notes. Good luck on your assignment and have a good day.